Hey everybody, it's Alana here, and to all of my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. To all of my oldies but goodies, thank you so, so much for supporting, for continuing to support my channel, and thank you for your patience. In case you hadn't noticed, um, I've been gone for a few weeks, and um, I took a break. Hey, hiatus, I pulled back, whatever you wanna, however you wanna refer to it. Um, I do that sometimes because I just, if I have too much on my plate for the time being, YouTube is one of the first things to go. And that's because I, it's not one of my top priorities. I love YouTube, I love making videos, I love you all. However, my family, my God, my my extended family and friends, that they're all a priority before YouTube. And um, But I pulled back from social media, from um, YouTube, from all, it, lots of stuff this first few weeks of January, in the last few weeks of um, 2020, because it's just been crazy. And um, I just I just need to keep myself in a good mindset and all of that. If I feel myself getting a little too overwhelmed, I start to pull back from everything that is not my top priority. So thank you so much for your patience. And I hope you all are actually able to do, to do the same thing. It's very important to pull back and take a couple of things off your plate. If, you, if too much stuff, if you're juggling too much, it's important to step back and, you know, reprioritize or something. So I, I definitely make a habit of doing that. So if I ever disappear, it's for a good reason. But I'm good, my family's good. And if you've been worried, thank you so much. I love you all. It's just, oh, thank you. And um, I'm so glad that you all are here with me now and I should be making videos now that life has resumed, school's back on and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't, you know, been, I was enjoying spending time with my family, just us and keeping things simple. But now that life has resumed, as normal as usual then um i should be back here making more videos another reason why i disappeared <clears throat> is because i have not been purchasing coach bags and i will briefly tell you why it's kind of a lead up as to uh, a lead up to what i'm showing you in this video um basically i'm i'm going to be try to be as nice as possible when i say this um I haven't been focused on their bags because I'm not loving the direction Coach is going with their bags. They discontinued, last year, they discontinued the 1941 line. They also, well, they didn't discontinue it. They blended it with the New York line, and uh, I figured this was going to happen, and it did. I can see the quality is not the same. The 1941 line, every single thing they produced in that line was tip-top quality not so much blended with the New York line and I knew it was gonna happen and I'm so bummed, but whatever. So I've stepped back. They also discontinued my favorite bag, which was the Rogue. And so that made me upset. I don't know what to buy now. You know, I mean, I see stuff that they're producing, it's pretty, but it, I'm not into the quality. I've tried the beat bag, tried other styles, and I look at the quality and I'm like, oh God, no, no, I don't want it. So I return it. But um, I did purchase a couple of small leather goods and a bag recently, or two bags rec recently, two bags. So I'll be showing those um, hopefully within the next uh, week or two. So when my focus was kind of taken away from bags, uh, it, my focus, I, I mean, I was able to focus on they're ready to wear, and I will be showing you that now. So, shoes, these are very pretty. I don't know what they're called. They're just regular sneakers. I think they're the C101 sneaker. Come on. You really need an up close of this. There we go. Look at this sneaker here. First of all, it's black. Second of all, look at the floral detail and blue. This will basically go with pretty much anything. Look at the whip stitch detail here. The interior is dark denim, it looks like. Also look at this. This is shearling. Shearling detail and it's genuine. And the um, now that we're here, beautiful little shimmery detail here on the um, shoestrings. I believe these came with um, a regular pair of black shoestrings also. So aren't they nice? These are very nice. I don't think they're still on the website, I'm sorry. Coach, Coach Outlet is where I purchased all but two of these pieces, by the way. So that's the shoes. This is the Lauren Booty very pretty they've been around since what a year and a half ago and I've been eyeing them ever since as soon as they went to the outlet I um, jumped on them of course this is black suede very nice well-made shoe I'm not in general oh man I feel like I'm bashing coach all up and through this video I'm not really in love with their shoes with most of their shoes their flats their their loafers I like their loafers their drivers 
Oh, cool. And um, some of their sneakers, like the ones I just showed you, look at this signature C detail on the tongue. It goes all the way up and down the tongue. And here's the coolest detail here. The chain detail. It looked like beads on the website. I thought it was bead detail, but it's a chain. It's a freaking flat chain. So cool. There's the C. So these are, um, oh, they're also water resistant, which is another reason why I thought they were super cool. Leather up here. And they have a zipper, which is great. So that when you get the, uh, I mean, so when you get the, uh, the right setting with the shoelaces, you can just unzip and zip. Very nice boots. Now for the ready to wear. I'm so in love with Coach's ready to wear. So in love, guys. I'm gonna go through this quickly so that I can try on some of the um, jackets. I purchased pants and sweatshirt sweaters and jackets. I just went psycho with it. But most of this stuff is on the outlet site or was recently. First item, track pants. I got three pairs, the same exact track pants. These are men's pants. I absolutely love them, love them, especially this pair right here. I got three pairs. Here's the first, and I'm showing you the best pair first. I don't know how I'm going to do this in the, this one shot, I mean one frame. But look at this. We've got, I need to show you this hole. See the zipper detail, drawstrings that are functional. Some drawstrings are just decorative. These actually cinch in the waist. Look at the leather at the bottom of the drawstrings. That's leather, guys. The zippers are hardy, substantial, very nice. Here's that retro C. There's a black stripe going down the sides. And the color of these is just great. Here's my fa oh, here's the back. Then I'll show you my favorite part of these. Here's the back. There's one zippered pocket here. They fit really well. They're nice and thick and soft. 100% cotton. Let me show you my favorite part of these joggers. I'm sorry, all over the place here close-up of this. On this particular pair of the joggers, of, tra of the, this track pant, of this track style, look at this. There we go. Oh my god. It looks so great. They're so well made. This is a wool blend here and it feels so great. Let's see how close up we can get. It feels so great. These are 1941. All of these are. Every piece that I'm about to show you is 1941. These are called, again, the uh, track pant. That's it. 76932. These are men's, and I got them in a size medium. So there's that pair, and I also purchased, I'll show both of them. That pair, I wanted to get close up, but here are the other two track pants. Wild Beast here, which is really cool. And the other pair is just a plain black. 100% 100 cotton here too. You know the Wild Beast pattern, right? And this doesn't have the same waist or cuff detail. It's just basic cotton or nylon or whatever the blend is, but it has the same, oh my goodness, the same um, leather detail there, same zipper, same stripe down the side, the black stripe, but Rexy is here. Rexy is here on the, um, on these and the black pants, which is a super cool little detail there. So there's those, and then these are plain black. Again, comfortable, thick, but soft, very nice to wear, easy to wear, there we go. Here is a sweatshirt, a hoodie, excuse me, it's a hoodie. It looks a lot more green online, but this is an extra small. I believe it's still on Coach Outlet. I think the track pants, all of the track pants are too. Not sure what sizes are available in the track pants, but only extra small is available in this, and this is an extra small in men's, and it fit me, um, it fits like a small medium sweatshirt in women's, or hoodie in women's. Very nice, here's that retro detail again. This is the Cafe, is it Dancing Matilda print? I don't know what the name of the print is, but it's a beautiful print. It's a great neutral. It looks a lot more green, like I said, but it's darker green and it has some brown in there. It's a very nice neutral. And then we have another cave. This is a women's sweatshirt, a crew, crew sweatshirt, I don't know. But um, it's gorgeous. Also, there's that big retro coach in the middle there. It's velvet. Feels like it's velvet. Very nice. All of these are 1941. The quality is insane. The quality of Coach's Ready to Wear, I'm discovering, is um, just as amazing, if not better, than their expensive bags. And I'm not kidding when I say that. 
Here we go, here's number three. This is the crew, crew neck, what's the name of this? This is the Flower Jacquard Crew Neck. That's what it's called. Beautiful details. This one, I'm the most, I'm one, this is one of the most impressive pieces to me. We've got that, hey, this is the same color as the shoe strings on the other, on the, the pair of sneakers I showed you. Very nice, see the shimmery, the whole, the whole sweater has that shim, that little shimmery look in it. It's so soft. I didn't know it was gonna be this soft. It didn't look soft online. I don't know why I figured that, but anyway, gorgeous. Oops, sorry, this is a medium. I found this in the actual outlet. Now for the jackets. I purchased three. I told y'all I went crazy. I actually purchased three of these jackets. First one was from the outlet site. The other two were from the retail site and the boutique store. Here is the Varsity Bomber jacket. I absolutely love it. This might be one of my favorite of all. Well, it's definitely one of my favorite. This could be number one. Fits so well. The, uh, here's the back. The Prairie Rivets detail. The uh, body is wool blend and the sleeves are lamb skin or lamb leather. Here's the uh, detail, the Prairie Rivets detail. It's so nice. Look at Rexy there, I'm trying to get a close up of Rexy. I'll take this off and probably, I could use this as a charm on bags. Look at the leather, the lambskin leather lined pockets. Very, very nice. Very, very well made. This is called the Embellished Varsity Jacket. If you can get your hands on this, ladies, do it. Or men, whoever likes that. Next, this was from the actual store. This is a man's jacket, this is the M. The leather LMA1 jacket. This is sheep leather. Very nice. It's the typical LMA1 style. Sheep leather, I have discovered, is the lightest weight of all of the commercial leathers. Here's the bag. So nice. I love the detail here. It's part of the 1941 collection. See that black with the goldenrod stitching? Love it! Here's the typical LMA1 pocket with this detail. It's a functioning zipper pocket. I mean, it's a functioning pocket. All of the pockets are functional except this. There's no, there's no pocket in there. It just has that little detail there. I plan if I keep this one, I'm going to customize it probably along there. Maybe some rivets. Maybe there. Maybe there. This is Midnight Navy. The other one I showed you, the bomber, the embellished varsity, is black. So this is very nice. Last but not least is this one. This one set me back the most, but it was still on sale. This is Russet. This is just the biker jacket. That's what it's called. The biker jacket. I didn't think this through when I piled all the stuff over there. Now you can barely see the stuff. This color here is kind of, it's kind of coming across true to color. I don't know. This is wine. It's like a beautiful wine burgundy, but there are so many different color tones or whatever. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not good with explaining colors, but it's stunning in person. And it's soft, it's lambskin leather. Love the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's so nice. And again, it is the 1941 collection. This one was originally 1200. That paid about 408 or something for it. Look at all the zippers. All right, I'm gonna try to try these on. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye.